People, hear me! Before I present the so-called champion of the Bex with their prize, there is something you must know. The winning rider cheated! Your swoop bike was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of the victory prize. Jawara bota ayu at tahonga chakanki dora kachi kui ta hodonga topa da bungwa ya gando do na no chuchu musha pa pampa bola wa chikne ba muri slemo ko da wanga kun bes muri ra ra bes. You old fool! Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me. I might have something to say about that, Brezhik. <coughs> what? Impossible. You were restrained by a neural disruptor! How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezhik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Vulcus, to me! Kill this woman! Kill the swoop rider! Kill them all! Oh, 
Maybe those bloody Vulcas will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize... Wait, I don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? Save me. Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezhik and his Valkas would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. Yes, I suppose you can. Well, I appreciate your attempt to save me, even if it didn't really go as you planned. But let's get down to business. We're not out of danger yet. If I'm going to figure out a way for us to get off this planet, I need to know what kind of resources we can draw on. First, are we the only two survivors left from the Ender Spire? Nasi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. Bastila, you're alive! Finally things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. 
Hopefully our escape from Terrace will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. You know, I had my doubts about this mission, but I figured the Jedi Council wouldn't put you in charge if you weren't prepared. But here you are, acting like a spoiled child. I see. It's true that I don't have much military experience. Perhaps I should not be so quick to judge. Very well, Karth. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. A vision? A vision of what? This is... it's strange. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. How can I help? I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. Yes, I realize that, of course. But surely there was more to it than a simple search. I doubt there were flashing signs pointing you in my direction. Yet somehow you found me. You also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Vulcan prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Taurus Swoop champion. That's quite a resume. Your modesty is admirable, but though others helped, you were the catalyst for these events. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. A Jedi could have done such things, of course, but only by drawing heavily upon the Force. is in all of us, though for most people it's barely a measurable whisper. But there are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success, though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... step my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. For now, let's just accept the fact that you're gifted. Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. Yes, what's on your mind? 
Oh, you want to argue some more, is that it? So I've seen. If I were Malik, I'd be a bit nervous to have you on my tail. I just don't trust easily. And for good reasons, which are my own. until I talk, well, I... You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Here goes. Five years ago, the Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak were heroes. I was damn proud to have served in their fleet. It was completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think, least of all me. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith. And we were all but helpless before them. I mean, think about it. If you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? Of course the Jedi turned to the dark side. There were others, however, who weren't Jedi. Good men, trusted men, who joined them. Malak and Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done, but the ones who fled the Republic and joined them are even worse. The dark side has nothing to do with why they joined with the Sith. They deserve no mercy. I know, I'm... And I should apologize to you. I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst in others, and you've done nothing to deserve that. It's just... No, never mind. Let's just continue with what we were doing. thought of that space tramp makes my blood boil. Subject's closed, as far as I'm concerned. If I'm gonna be any help to you, I can't be worrying about my brother running off with some intergalactic skank. So is there something else you need? Okay, have it your way. Oh! <laughs> 